Hello, and to continue on our real estate education, real estate riches, by Professor Dolph Derus, I'm Ria, and our topic for today is finding properties. The first one was classified advertisement. I hope you looked at your newspaper and you went through classified ads and tried to look for properties that are for sale in your neighborhood. Number two, way of finding properties is the real estate magazine. The real estate magazines are usually found outside the real estate agency and they are for free. Now when you flip through the real estate magazines you will find several properties in a particular area. It will give you the color, it will give you the information such as if it's a two bedroom, three bedroom with this square footage. It would also give you the contact information of the agent. Now you can look at several properties in a particular area quickly um, using the real estate magazine. Now what you can do is give you give that particular agent a call and figure out, you know, number one, what's the reason for the seller selling the property? Number two, what's the average rent in the neighborhood? And number three, how has the value shifted in the market? Now in the book, the author bought a property using Real Estate Magazine and he found it at the bottom corner of the Real Estate Magazine in between the 200 to 400,000 range of property. Now he said that the um, property that he bought was a small cottage with two bedroom and it has a, a weird uh, f phrasing. It says, uh, offered, uh, we accept offer over 20,000. So initially the author said that it was a typical uh, typographical error and so he called the agent and asked is this a typical typographical error and the agent said no it is not a typographical error it's actually correct or asked um, where any offer above 20,000 will be considered so the author asked the agent when you ask for any offers over x do you does anyone ask for offers over 5,000 or offers over 10,000 and the agent said that buyers usually do not offer over 5,000 or offer over 10,000. The buyers usually just offer minimum. So the author then offered the minimum, which is 20,000 because in the real estate magazine, there was a weird caption that says anything over 20,000 is considered. So they he put in an offer of 20,000 and he waited now the owner of the property was the bank because the the owner actually had problems and could not pay it so it went into foreclosure so the bank wrote the letter back to him in 2 weeks time and the bank said that the property is worth over 20,000 uh, make us another offer and so he did. And this is what he wrote. And I'm going to read it to you. I replied that it was only their contention, and that is the bank, that the property was worth a lot more than 20000 A property, so I continued, is not necessarily worth what a seller thinks it's worth, or for that matter, what a buyer thinks it's worth. A property is not always worth what a real estate agent suggests. Some may suggest a high price to get the listing or a low price to effect a quick sale. A property is not necessarily worth what an appraiser thinks it's worth. Some may suggest a price on the high side to appease a seller or a price on the low side to appease a buyer. And a property is certainly not always worth what a bank thinks it's worth. Rather, a property is only worth that price at which a willing buyer and a willing seller agrees to transact the property. And if the bank really thought that it was worth a lot more than 20000 so I suggested they should go out and find a buyer who agreed with them. In the meantime, to show that I was still an earnest buyer, I raised my offer to 22000 And... He sent it to the bank and the bank replied that if he was willing to raise his offer to 22500 just over $500, they have a deal. 
And so he did offer 22500 and the property was his. So that's that for today. I hope you learned something. Take care and God bless.